What? Oh, this could be a problem. I mean, you could kind of see, but I have a feeling it's probably like a layering thing with the emulators, so this will be tough. Hang on. I might have to... You won't really be able to see what I'm doing. Hang on. I got it. They're all on the uh, bottom screen. What? I mean, you could kind of see if, like, you like if you squint a little bit, but yeah. Hang on, let me. Actually, I just want to take a look to see if I can find like a map and get my way through here. All right, let's see. You know what, maybe I should probably go back and get an escape rope so I can get out of here when I'm done. I don't think I, I have one. Let me check. I do not. I should, pro I should probably go get one, to be honest. Just so I can get out of here. Actually, you know what? I think I'll be okay. Basement. Alright, hang on. Oops. I'll figure my way through here. There must be something to do with, like, the layering or something with, like, how Flash works. Because it was completely dark before, but... Nope, I don't think I can- I don't even think I can go this way. This, oh, never mind, there's an escape rope right here too, so that's good. Uh, let me see here. No, there's- I don't think I can even do anything going this way. I think there's another entrance. So let me see, which way do I have to go from? Because there's four entrances to this place. Yeah, Whirlpool Island's a bit of a maze. Yeah, hang on. Here we go. Oh! Thank you, MACW1234, for following. We are now at 199. We're one more away. Alright, let's see here. I think. Let me see which way I have to go through. Hang on. Alright, yeah. Alright, uh, we want to head to the Northeastern Island. That is the way we want to go. Nah, don't worry about it, it's fine. I was just joking. Oh my god, we're so close. Okay, oh good. I think I fought every trainer on this route already after I- I think I did that after I fought Chuck because I wanted to get my, uh, or... Okay, I think this is the way we want to go. Well, I think- I, I think you can access it from any of them, can't you? No, it's you can't. It's just like these four different entrances? No, you can't. I think it's- th well, this one here in particular, you can, um, I think this is the one you have to go through. You want to go through Northeast. We gotta use Togepi to light it up. Yep, there we go. Hang on. You can at least see where you're going, right? I a little bit. It, it 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 is possible. I can see where I am going. It's just a bit. It's a little bit difficult, but it is possible. It's just because of the. All right, here we go. That will take us down to the basement floor. Let me see. If you squint a little bit, you can kind of see where you can kind of see where to go. No, I do not. That's not the way I want to go. I want to go here. 
Okay, good. Thankfully, okay. I don't know why the first floor wasn't lit up, but this one is somehow. Anyway, let me before I do anything, I just want to update the uh, follower goal on here because just to reflect what it really is. Why is it? Oh, hang on. I didn't start the goal. That's not the goal. Ah, I gotta start it over. Hang on. Someone followed me when I wasn't streaming, so I have to update it now. There we go. One more is what we need. A max revive. Oh, item, item, item. Item, item, item. Full restore! Alright, let's see down here. Oh! There's someone here. The thing you have. You found it. Please go ahead. Ooh. This area looks really cool. Rare candy, awesome. Let's make sure we're okay, because I'm not going to lie. This is actually going to be pretty tough. Thankfully, I have a decent selection of Pokemon with me. But I really only have four of them, because, um... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Togepi, I just only have for Flash. Because if it was flat, if I didn't have Flash, at least it would be completely pitch black. But, this is definitely going to be the hardest Pokemon we've ever fought yet. Lugia. This here. Right, we're going to Surf once again. Once again, we're gonna be coming up across Lugia. Here we go. Yeah! And now we get some epic music here too. Personally, I like Hope. Yeah, this more. battle, this battle is really uh, music is really good. So Lugia here is level seventy. So, and it's coming packed with a lot of hard, tough moves to fight. I'm gonna go for a light screen, just like I said. It has a signature move, Arrow Blast, which is a really high power flying move. I wanna put up a light screen up against it. Okay, okay, thankfully it doesn't do too much. It also has a plenty of other moves. Now, the thing that makes it tough, okay, Punishment does more, Punishment is a dark move that does more damage if you have more stat boosts. Uh oh, I did a lot already. But, that, thankfully, that paralyze, which of course, um, yeah, that was kind of a waste. Okay, let's go for a discharge. So yeah, if you're playing Heart Gold, uh, Lugia is level seventy. Whereas if you're playing the other, okay, yeah. So as you can see, Lugia here is very defensive. That barely did a thing to it. We're only level- of course, we're 15 levels lower than this thing, too. Uh-oh. Oh! Nice! Perfect. Now, let me see. What moves does it actually have? Hang on. I actually want to check what moves it has. Okay, it has the moves- okay, thankfully it cannot heal itself. It has the moves Arrow Blast, Punishment, Ancient Power, and Safeguard. Now, what makes this fight tough is that most of the moves it has, only, like, ain't Arrow Blast, Punishment, and Ancient Power, only have 5 PP. So, if you do not finish it quickly, if you don't catch it quickly, it will run out of PP for those moves, and it will start using Struggle and kill itself. So, that is something you have to be careful of. So, I don't even want to, like, bother, um, healing. I'd rather just, well, I might actually want to, but I'm but I got plenty of I'd rather just have light speeds up. Okay. I'm just gonna wanna start chucking the dusk balls at it as we always do because that this is the time when they work. Alright, 
I'm gonna go for. Okay, no one over here has me. Uh, I'm gonna go for. Actually, well. Okay, this thing does. Okay, it doesn't have hydro pump. I thought. For some reason, I thought it did, but it had. If you're, if you're playing Soul Silver, it would have. Oh, God. What was that? I had my desk, sorry. That's okay. One. Two. Ah! Uh, not quite. I think I still have some timer balls that I had from something else, so if I do- if it does- if worse comes to worse, this is probably the best time to use them. Probably, yeah. I do not- actually, you know what? I probably should not have brought Tyranitar with me because it has the Sandstorm, which would mean if I sent it out, it would kill it. So I really, I should have left it behind. Yeah, I didn't really think that- I didn't really think that through, to be honest. Uh, I'm what I might do is I might want to bring another Pokemon. I might want to because I know that my um, Kanto Pokemon have uh, weather moves on them. That might be something I might want to do when I'm team building. Oh, man, I'm killing it tonight. I keep thinking, oh, this is gonna be so hard. Yeah, four legendaries down. Four legendaries, <clears throat> and you know what? That was all I was gonna do tonight. Let's go after some more legendary Pokemon. Alright, um... I will make a poll in the chat. I can go after cert these... Fe well, actually, hang on. Uh, let me see which legendary... Let me just check my list. Because there's still a Because I have a lot of time. Uh, I'm going to make a... Hang on, let me see. Let me pull out my checklist. Alright, can we call... I did basically everything I wanted to do tonight. But... Uh, let me see here. Um, well, actually... Alright. There are three different legendary Pokemon I have the uh, opportunity to catch right now. I'm going to make a poll. Which one should I catch? Because there's a, once you have Rock Climb, there is something you can get coming over here. What may be here, you may ask. Well, spoiler alert. Um, well, hang on. Oh, Stardust. Yes, yeah, Stardust is nice, and there's another item down there, too. But did we come all the way here for Stardust? Nope. No, that's not why we came here. That is not why we came. What could be here? A wave incense. I believe that lets you. I think if you, I'm not sure what it is. I think if you breed. I think if you breed um, a mantine with it, you can get a mantine. Let me actually just double check that. It also I think increases the power. Okay. It also increases the power. Yep. Yeah, it's mantine to mantine, and it also um increases the power of water moves if you give it to a Pokemon. But its main purpose is for breeding mantikes, which is the baby form Pokemon of mantine. Yeah. But, <clears throat> coming in here, wait, Let's talk to this guy. Well, hello! It said that past this hole, there used to be a huge tower reaching far into the sky. They say it was a rather strange tower with half of it embedded into the cliff. It was not just a tall tower reaching up the sky, but also reaching deep down underground. It's rumored that it even reached the bottom of the ocean. This ruins used to connect the sky, the land, and the sea to each other. Most of the towers now crumble. The only things remain are the entrance and its interior. We'll see strange patterns. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to want to go inside here. Uh, I saved already, but I'd rather just save again for good measure, you know. You can never be too sure. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, actually, wait, I think, I think there is something I need. Actually, hang on. What am I supposed to do here? Hang on. There's nothing inside. I think there's an item we need first. Okay, yes. Let's go do that. I forgot about that. That's actually pretty important. I 
I'm assuming so. It's okay. It's probably, but yeah. I mean, I I, ra I mean, I rather at least make mention of it. Basically, you get to catch you, you get to catch the other legendary Pokemon that you would not normally have access to. So for now, we're gonna yeah. want to head to. Uh, there's one more Pokemon we can catch. I was actually planning on saving to the end, but. Alright, so we're gonna wanna head to Cerulean City because if you come over here, I just wanted to check something here. Uh, if you come over here, um, there is something new. Now, let me see here. Hang on. Cerulean Cave. Okay. Um, you're gonna need Surf, Rock Smash, and Rock Climb. So I'm gonna wanna bring, um, I need to bring something that has Rock Climb. Rock Smash. Shoot, what, what did I teach Rock Smash to? I forgot what I taught it to. Rock Smash, I'm not sure, but Rock Climb I taught it to Togepi. Uh... I taught it to Togepi. So I'm going to want to bring... Yeah, so you're going to need... Um, and, oh, and it's another one that needs Flash, So which I think Togepi also knows. So we're going to be going through the dark. We're going to be navigating the dark again. Just great. So this is the only other legendary I'll be able to catch for now, because... Um, the other one that we can catch, we can't get right now. The other one, I don't think I'll be able to show unless I can figure out how to generate items in the game. But even then, I feel it's... I mean, at this point, I... I mean... It is what it is, I guess. I don't know. Because normally you go in there, Steven's there, but... Whatever. Let's go down this way. So, so over here, now this guy before was heading towards an item being here. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, 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 nope. There's an item here. A nugget. Now, in the original uh, gold and silver, there was a berserk gene hidden there, which was an item that, um, if you gave it to a Pokemon, it would be confused, but it would have its attack boosted. All right, yeah, so we're going to need Rock Smash and Flash here. Now, unfortunately, um,. I cannot see a thing. It show yeah, it's like... Yeah, this is not good. Did the emulator give you this problem when you were playing uh, Fire Red? No, it didn't. I guess it's the it's way it, I guess it's the way it layers it in the DS. Let me just see. Unfortunately- Okay, yeah, so Cerulean Cave, you are gonna need, um... I mean, I can kind of see. If you, like, squint a little bit, you can kind of see. No, I can't see anything. It's just a black screen to me. Yeah, I'm just looking at maps so I don't get lost. Alright, the second floor. This area is copyright protected. Nintendo's preventing you from showing it. Pretty sure there's probably an item hidden here or something. Ah, nuts. Seem like there's anything here. That's a dead end. Huh. You know, in theory, I could fight that. Well, no, I'd rather hype that up. Let's see, what's up? The... Actually, I think there's something else up this way. I miss the Team Rocket music being in this, like the Rocket Hideout music that was in the original Cerulean Cave. It had like the different music there. I felt like that was a lot more like intimidating and made it a lot more um, eerie. Now I believe in, in...
Well, I think it's because the uh, Pokemon that's in this area was supposed to have a connection to Team Rocket and uh, yeah, the original music right, is pretty I cool. I assume it's the same in uh, this game, but... Uh, well, this is just says the generic cave music for Kanto. Ooh, PP up, that's good. PP up yeah. is very good. Well, the, yeah, but I, I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you could, I mean, you could kind of see, but it's like... I guess because of the way they layer it, too. Let's see, what's over here? Take us back down. Oh, Erwin, I don't have time. I'm going after a freaking Pokemon here. I have a feeling that I'm gonna want to. Go up here. Uh, I think we're making progress. This is the way we want to go. Oh my god, do I have any extra escape ropes? I don't think I do, so that's gonna be just nice. Dang, I really should have gotten one. Maybe there's one hiding, maybe there'll be one hiding somewhere. Actually, wait, I think this is a dead end. Odd incense. I don't know what that does. Let's see what that does. Hang on. Uh, that's a psychic type. That probably is uh, something for a psychic. I don't know. That, okay, yeah, I believe this area is a dead end. See what's over this way. I believe this is also a dead end. I mean, at the very least, once I find. Oh, ah, Jesus. No, this is not the most exciting to watch because you can barely see it unless you. Yeah, you can't see anything. All right, hang on one sec. I believe this is the way we want to go. Hang on. Yeah, I think we're making progress. Here we go. Uh, there's a bit of a pit here. Oh! <gasps> Tyler Presley 2020 is now following! That's our 200! Yee! Hit we, 200? We hit 200! 
Oh my nice. god. Nice. We gotta celebrate somehow. Uh, oh my god. Oh, hang on, wait. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Surprised no Pokemon are bothering us right now, to be honest. You have repels. Yes, on? thank you so much. Yeah, uh, I do have repels. Yeah, because I'm surprised because I thought the Pokemon here would be much higher level, but I guess my Pokemon. Yes, we our goal was to hit 200 followers, and we did it thanks to you. Hmm. And guess what? You came at the right time. I hope because we're about to do something cool. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. Uh, let's see. We're in the 200 club, Nick. We did it. Now we have to start planning for right. the 200 follower 12 hour stream. What day do you think you're going to do that? Uh, probably next week. Or, I don't know. It'll... Nope, this is... We're n we already caught Articuno. In fact, we caught all the birds already. We caught all the birds. We this is the Cerulean Cave, which you won't be able to really tell. Because... Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. There is an item over there you can get. There's an item you can get with Rock Climb over there. Here we go. Yes, Mewtwo's awesome. You get the Electorizer here, which is an item that if you give it to Electabuzz, it'll evolve into Electivire. Which, Electivire is probably one of the most overrated Pokemon in competitive, because basically, it has the um, ability Motor Drive. Which basically makes it immune to electric and it boosts its speed. So basically a lot of like noobs and competitive would give it would team it up with Gyarados and bait Gyarados to for bait Gyarados to use an electric move. Ooh, here you get the black sludge, which is an item that um if you give it to a uh, it's basically poison and basically leftovers for poison types. It will heal on it'll heal automatically a few turns, but for non-poison types it does damage. And over there, you can't see it, but it's there. Uh-oh. 